Hi. Hi. Welcome to Two Tangled Skeins. We are Saturday, March 30th. This is episode 33. I'm Sue, also known as Crafty Knitter 7. We'd like to welcome back previous viewers and any new viewers that have come along. We hope you enjoy the show. Yep. And I'm Carrie, also known as Jaded Knitter. And you can find us on Blip, YouTube, and iTunes under Two Tangled Skeins, TWO. Uh, you can find us on Twitter, also under Two Tangled Skeins, but it's the number two Tangled Skeins. Uh, and then you can find our blog and the show notes and all of that good stuff on our website, which is twotangleskeins.wordpress.com. Yes. And also join our Ravelry group. Yes, because we have lots of fun and giveaways and prizes all kinds and whatnot. Stuff. And we're 22 members, I think, a week. So I think we're at what, 375? No, no, we're at like 380 or 380. Oh, okay. Yes. I we're under yesterday. 20 members away from the 400 mark, so there will be another draw at and the 400 mark. Yes, and as hint, you, hint. Yes, and everybody gets a chance. So every 100 we hit, you get a chance. Yep. So the 400 members get a chance. When we hit 500, you get a chance again. So, yay. We'll have to start thinking prizes. about what our prizes are. And we're gonna have we have prize draws today too. Yes, we do. <laughs> so oh my god, pugs. Yes, we will get into that in a bit. Yes, we will. So FOs. Nada. Nada. But you had one last week. I have an FO. The socks are done, times two. And even though this one here is ribbed on the bottom and this one here isn't, my husband didn't care. Actually, maybe I should do this instead. So these are the Basic Rib Socks by Kate Atherley. They're in the Hobbit Garden colorway, which is Blue Moon Fiber Socks That Rock. They are knit on 2.75 millimeters, which is a US 2. And I love them. And he's gonna love them too. And those are, that's the Silky Socks. Yes, it's so the Silky, it's, so it's Merino and Silk. Yeah, yeah. so it has a bit of oh, um, so like a white almost going through it. You can see it. And that's actually the, the silk, because it doesn't take the dye the same as the merino. Yeah, so those are done, and that's his, well, it's his third pair, but his second successful pair that I've made. Because the first pair I made slide down his ankles, because I didn't know about negative ease. Oops. Way back then. So, yeah, oops. Um, so that's what I've got finished. And so, um, knitting with that yarn, oh, it was awesome. Like, because it's made of silk, it was silky. It was just, it just... So soft and squishy. Oh, it's so soft and squishy, and I have a little bit left, and I almost just want to, like, I don't know, sleep with it. <laughs> so, as you'll notice, new haircut. She's looking spiffy. I noticed right away last night, as opposed to when she dyed her hair a week ago. I never noticed. She had to tell me about it. But I blame it all on lighting or something. I dyed my hair two weeks ago at this point. Oh, it's two weeks ago. But I only, you only told me a week ago. Yes, yes. Because I hadn't noticed yet. So, yeah. yeah, her hair's purple. Can't really tell in this. Uh, I can tell, but I don't know if the Yeah, I don't think I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. But it's it's the color has faded a little bit. But it's purple and yeah. it looks great. My hair is purple. That's what happens when you let Carrie alone in a pharmacy and when she's bored. Since she's bored, she decides to dye her hair purple. It was on sale. Oh, well, there you go. All the more reason. That yeah, was my favorite type of dye and it was on sale and I haven't done it in years. So I'm like, "Eh, why not?" Yep. Cool. And then I've been looking at my hair recently going, wait a minute, I have to do job interviews and my hair's kind of scraggly. This is not, not good. It, it's purple we can get away with and if you hear buzzing, that's my parents calling. So Would you like look. to answer the line? Would you like to answer no. on, on air? Hello, Mama. No, that's okay. <laughs> I will just send Mom to voicemail because yeah. I can call her back in a little bit. That's okay. Hello. Um, <laughs> off track <laughs> so it is Easter long weekend so for those of you who celebrate Easter we'd like to wish you a happy Easter oh, and it is also Passover okay uh, so happy Passover yes and those are really the only two I know of that are going on this weekend so I don't know if there is any others there if there is be. any others we wish it to you because we don't know them. happy holidays yes sure you know. That works. Happy Spring holidays. holiday. Spring holiday. Happy holidays. It works all year round. Yep. And I think this is the end of March break or the spring break in the yes, States. Yes, I think it is. Because ours were in February in the beginning of March and I think theirs are either just yeah. ending or just beginning. 
Yeah, I think they're, they've got, some of them have two weeks. Some have one week. Um, I'm not quite sure. And that would be mom leaving a voicemail. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't notice the buzz, but okay. Anyhow, so, poking around on the needles. I'm going to let you go because, wow. Wow. I've been packing this week, so I haven't actually gotten as much done as I wanted no, to. But not at all. It's a skirt! <laughs> Um, this is the uh, Orangi uh, sweater from Knitty, and it is by uh, Weaver. Weaver Knits, and it's done out of uh, Tannis Fiber Arts Blue Label. Um, the purple here is Iris, and then it has Hem Facing, which is the black is charcoal, and this is actually kind of a cream color, which is sand. Um, and then it's got, um, it will have color work on the yoke, mm -hmm. uh, need to get and it will be copy of the steaked. I have a color copy, it's packed. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll find the copy on Monday when we unpack my place, the new one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it takes me a month and a half to pack. It takes me about two days to unpack. Yes. <clears throat> and I will be there on Monday to help her start Yay. unpacking. And then she took the week off, so she'll have the whole week off. I mainly took the week off to get appointments done so I can have stuff installed and so I can do my physics homework. Hey. Because I haven't done any in a month. Packing is an excuse. Packing is an excuse. Yep. Um, but yeah, I love this pattern. It's well written. Uh, it's like all nitty patterns. It's That's really nice. well written. The yarn is so squishy and soft. She's Canadian. She's Canadian. She's out of BC. Mm -hmm. um, so I need to get me some of that. I got this in a week. Yeah, I have a skein that Crystal gave me, but uh, yeah, I need to try and knit with it to see what it's like. Yeah, I got, yeah, she, super fast shipping, because um, I ordered basically a sweater quantity for this plus a second sweater quantity. I got it in like a week. And I got it in about And a she's week. pregnant. Yeah. So. So. But, but you said it was a family business, right? Yeah, it's a family so. business. And this stuff is a dream to knit with. It uh, doesn't split. Um, I haven't had any issues with the color. It's wonderful. Um, and it's, you know, squishy. Yes, and we'll link it in the show notes. Yeah, this is, I believe, merino nylon. Um, sure. It's a sock weight, so it, it does have uh, the nylon sock characteristics. Yeah. Um, and now, it will be steeped up the front, which is why it's being knit in the round. Normally, you don't knit a sweater in anything that's sock weight. What is that going to change about the sweater and in the dynamics of the sweater? Does it change anything? No. Does it change the washing factor or, nope. the, or the blocking factor? No. Nope. No? Okay. It just changes okay. the amount of time it takes you to get through it because it's smaller needles. And, okay. Um, but realistically, this actually isn't smaller needles than I'd normally knit a sweater on. So I knit sweaters, I tend to knit them out of DK light worsted, yeah. which you tend to uh, knit on about a US 6, which is a, which is a 4, four uh, millimeter. Okay. And that's actually what this is being knit on because it's supposed to be a fairly loose okay. uh, weave to the, the fabric. So you're just changing the needle size is what you're doing? Uh, no, the threads, the size of the the thread the yarn yes Never but you mind. can kind of see the weird this weird thing up the front that's actually where it's going to be steeped that's where it's going to be steeped that's my steeping and marks what is that that is because i'm because this is a a slightely variegated yarn and it is hand dyed oh, is i'm your... alternating okay. um every two rows it's your changeover so that's my changeover so this actually has a whole bunch of where i'm like bringing the yarn up so it's it's causing which is perfect for when you're steaking because you won't see it once it's done oh yeah this gets cut out all of my ends are along this line bye -bye. they get cut out bye bye well planned sweater oh yeah oh god yeah um, so there won't be very many ends. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be ends on the sleeves, mm -hmm. and that's about it. Yeah. So I shouldn't have too terribly many ends. Which is when you're knitting a sweater, the ends. You just, oh, yeah. you oh my should. god, yeah. And that's the other thing I love about this is there's enough yardage. This is only two balls so far, and it has a halter top. <laughs> this is how much I have left of the two balls. 
So I will probably make it to the underarms, so all 21 inches. With two balls of yarn. With two balls of yarn. Okay, I bought six. I won't need six. Okay. I thought it would take about four, four a bit. to get through to the, the underarms. But because you're, oh. Well, so two sets of two. It's the yardage. It's the yeah. yardage. These have like 400 and something yards in them. So it's great. And yes, they are my signatures, which thank you, Carl. These were from my brother for Christmas. Well, he gave me a gift certificate to signature. She and she bought size fours. I bought size fours. Because the first pair she bought, she sold them to me because she, that's, I'm a size four and a four and a half user and she wasn't. Yeah. She's always smaller than that. What is uh, your normal size? You use a 3.75? Yeah, you use a I, lot? I tend to stick between a 3.25 and a 3.75. Because um, I knit a lot of shawls and thinner weight stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I will say one thing though, uh, Laffian braid, which is what the this part here is on the bottom. Uh, oh, I can't see this it. here. And uh, yeah. it's wonderful. It looks great. It's stretchy. It's wonderful hemming. Oh my god, doing it over 300 stitches, I was about ready to murder somebody. <laughs> and you did it at midnight. Yeah, it's simple to do, like it's literally just a um, alternate, like you knit one color, knit the other color, mm -hmm. uh, but you have to carry the yarn in a certain way. Uh, to make it look like that. To make it look like that. And the problem is, as you're carrying the yarn, you're twisting it. Which is fine, you know, if you're only knitting on 20 or 40 stitches. 300 and something? It's fine, because you can just, you can let it twist, and then when you do the second part of the braid, there's two parts of this, and when you do the second part of the braid, it untwists again. So that's fine. Not but for 300? Not for 300, because it twists so badly that you can no longer get any more yarn out to knit with Ooh. after about 50 stitches. Sorry for the squeaky. That's the window. But yeah, otherwise, you know, I love this pattern. Well, I love this up. because once it's steeped and it's open, you're going to see that. Yeah. And you're going to have that on the top as well. Right? Uh, it'll be on the, the collar and the sleeves. Yeah, so it's so it'll give it the, she's talking about the, the underside here. Oh, sorry, right, on camera. On camera, because um, it will give it, when it's open, it, it's a nice finishing detail. Um, and I'll probably put uh, girl grain ribbon on the steeped edges inside the the sweater and i finished my row so i can show yay so what i I'm talked doing, enough she's <laughs> talked enough i had was halfway through a row which i don't know how many stitches i have on this booger there's a lot so it is the mara which i will try and show the color does that show the color because i can't see it somewhat and yeah of course you can see my string because that's where i added the ball so this is the mara it is by uh, Amy Hendrix and it's a Mad Tosh um, pattern and it's knit out of Mad Tosh DK which is the Georgia O'Keeffe colorway on sorry I'm just rubbing squishing it it's just so squishy it's knit on 4.5 millimeters which is a US 7 right yes okay US 7 I'm like I've got the needle gauger here because we don't have the peanut gallery is in Chicago visiting her boyfriend who is Lynn told hi me Rob me. hi Lynn hi Rob oh yeah hi Lynn <laughs> lovely, lovely. I, I kind of assumed that was implied. Yes, we'll go with that. So this <laughs> yarn I is squishy, it's so soft, it's, I won't say it's splitty. It's splitting for me because I'm using, and I don't know if this will make sense, but I'm using dollar needles. Yeah. But it's tending to split because I'm using my Addies. And they're blunty stumpies, as some people call them. I've also found that Mad Tosh tends to have a lower twist. I'm than finding a lot of that. Yes, yeah, it does have a lower twist, but it's 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 not splitting enough for me to not want to knit it. Like, it, you know, when you have this many stitches on the needles, if it was splitting that much, I wouldn't want to knit it because it just keeps getting bigger. Yeah, it's they're a low they're a loftier yarn, but they're a low twist yarn. Okay, so. and that's I wouldn't have known to say that low twist. So yes, I've, uh, I got this pattern uh, suggested to me by Lynn. 
because I was looking for something mindless and I didn't want garter stitch but you know what I ended up getting garter stitch and if I can find the pattern I will show you what it looks like. I will take one of the bigger pictures here. Sorry for the noise. This is the pattern. So on the bottom part it's uh, a ribbed edge. Uh, I think it's um it's a one by one and then a three by one. So it gives a different character. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so yeah. it's not just a straight knit. It no. it creates a pattern with the or sorry not a straight rib. It creates a pattern with the ribbing. Yeah, you can see that in the, in the top picture. I can get it to focus. There we go. Focus. It's focusing. I'm not close enough to the camera, but hey, it's working. So yes, it's Mad Tosh. I love it. And I would started to knit it up something else, and then my friend Selma said, "Calls for three skeins of Mad Tosh." DK. You have three skeins of Mad Tosh, DK. Why aren't you using it? Because Selma might have given it to her for, for her birthday, birthday last year. year. So now I'm knitting out of that. So I think I'm in the second ball. Not sure how well the color. The color's not coming out very well, is it? Yeah, it's it's dark, so it's greens and it's got teals browns. and browns and it's the Georgia O'Keeffe colorway, so if you look that up you'll see it. And yeah, so this is the second ball. So I'm halfway through the second ball, which means the edging is going to take a full ball because it takes three full balls of, I don't know how many, how much yardage is on it, I forget. 225 yards, so it takes three of those. So that's that. The other thing on, I have on the needles is a pair of socks, and they are just plain vanilla pair of socks for my daughter. Yeah, this is all I've been knitting on. Refer back to packing. So <laughs> you can see... It's purple. Uh, can you see the purple? I'm not quite sure. This, the top starts in purple. And it's got blue, white, and a brownish color. It is by Kirby Werby Yarns, and she is on Etsy. I will link it in the show notes. I think I've linked it before when I got this, when she gave me the yarn to, to try out. So trying it out for the show, those are the perks you get. So I started this, when did I start that? A couple of days ago, like you didn't start. Not yesterday which was Friday. I started at Thursday evening. I cast on. So I think that's pretty good progress. But she's a size 10 foot, so I'll be going for a little while longer before I start uh, doing the gusset. Wow, that's not too bad. No. She's the same size as Tyler. No, she's not. He, he has size 10. Oh, with men's. Right? Yeah. Sorry. She has size 10 <laughs> women's. What are you talking about? I'm a size 10 woman's and my feet are not that big. No, sorry. So yeah, it's, it's striping goodness. Um, I show you the label, but it is holding my ball together right now. Actually, maybe I can. Uh, no. No, I'm not going to try and take it out. So that's that. And did I say what it was knit on? 2.75. And I was using two circs, but now I've changed to Magic Loop. Because <laughs> the clinking of the two circs was really starting to get to me. I tried double points. Yeah, they're metal. No. I got one color repeated and I was about to like poke my eyes, my ears, everything I could poke, I was going to do. So that's that. On the wheel. My wheel's packed. Wheel's packed. I well, actually sh it's in a corner, but everything to do with it is packed. This is the first bobbin. Let me say I've got the second bobbin is on the wheel. And looking quite good. I, I You did take a peek behind. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hid the uh, corkscrews. <laughs> They're in there. What's up? What? Anyways, I'll get into the corkscrew later. So this is the colors. It's Nitty in color. It's the Sunburst colorway and it's part of our spin along, knit along, crochet along. And I mean, I'm not getting prizes, so I'm hoping to get it done by the end of the month, which is tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. And what I have left actually, I brought to show you. Sorry for the plastic bag. This is all I have left. So I'm doing quite well. And once that's done, well, I'm going to apply it, but I'm going to wait for Carrie to actually sit down with me and guide me on how to apply it so that I get it done right. Because, yeah, me and Klein, we need help. So that's what's on the wheel. So Yay. once you get going, it's fine. It's just remembering it, that you have to go spin the, other, it the way. other way. And I had a, a uh, applying disaster where I spun it the same way that I... Applying it, I was spinning the same way that I did when I was spinning it, so... She tells me it's I can save it. One day I'll try and save it. It's hidden. It's not on the wall with the spun stuff already. 
Um, yeah, I'm hyper today. Can you tell? No. Okay, good. So what's next? Giveaways. Giveaways. Mm-hmm. Prizes! Mm-hmm. Prizes. Yeah, so, I haven't had any chocolate yet today, so... But you have no, chocolate. I have chocolate. Um, so Lynn, be, even though you're not here and you celebrate Passover, I'm going to give you chocolate. And you each get a little chocolate sheep. I saw those at the drugstore the other day, Yee. so bah. I couldn't help it. So Yee. that's for you when you Calm. when I see you next. Calm, is that what you said? <laughs> Let's get to the giveaways. Yes. Let's get to the giveaways. So we're going to do Carrie's birthday giveaway first, which is the beautiful skein. And thank you, everyone, for the birthday wishes. That and the pugs. Nice. And the pugs. Mm. Yay, the pugs. The pugs. There were so many pugs. Yes. I loved the cupcake ones. Yes. Those, oh my God. you know, edible pugs were gorgeous. So we had 40... It was 41 entries. Um, I think it came out to 39, so there were a couple in there that ended up being double or deleted for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, so... We're doing from 2 to 41. Yeah. And we're going to do that as random number. Yeah, we're going to do two draws. So first the lace and then a set of my stitch yeah, markers. So I have the uh, random number generator. Hey, it's not bad if you can get closer. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> scooch, woman. Scooch. And, you know, just grab up the butt. Will it focus? Uh, yes. Oh, look at that. 2 to 41. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Eight. Eight. Come on, Come on focus. focus. You can do it. Maybe. Oh, you can see the eight, can't you? It won't focus, will it? Probably not. All right, so let me go see who number eight was, because that's on page one. I promise that's actually what it says. It does. We promises. So number eight is not not knitting. She put a picture of a little <laughs> pug with a Bex beer saying, oh my God, I, I love this. this. So... Not not knitting. Please PM me with your address, and I will send that out to you. I will. Um, yes, yeah, she's going to be doing shipping from now on because I have so far had shipping fails on everything. Yeah, I'll be shipping it out. So um, <laughs> I might PM you first, or if you watch the show, PM me, and I will get that out to you. So yay! Yay! Now you have to give it to me. I'm just saying it can be donated back. Yes, it can be, but you know. Yeah. And the other draw we're actually going to do, you know, the old-fashioned random number generator. Yep. And we're doing one for this and one for a set of stitch markers. Oh, right. Yeah, I said stitch markers for this. It's not. Yeah. Yes. So for the... It's, oh, yeah. And the, the other yarn is from the Gossamer Web. And it was a custom-dyed colorway just for us. Um, yeah. And then this one is Art by Anna. Mm -hmm. And we have that in a set of stitch markers. So yeah. Old fashioned ran random number generator. So anybody who purchased knitting and color yarn or fiber, your name is in the bowl. So who wins the Art by Anna lace? It is going to be... Coco likes Slippy? Yep. Yep. Or likes Lippy? Likes Lippy? I think it's Lippy. Anyways, if you are that person, there we go. Kinda. Proof. Is it going to focus? You can see it. Yep. It just won't focus. And stitch markers. Stitch markers are going to be pick some off of her site PM and PM me. her. Don't buy them. Yeah. PM me and I will take them off the site. And then or send, send her a message send on. Send me a message. Yeah. So stitch markers goes to uh, uh, Tangled, Tangled Mag. Mag. So Tangled Mag, you have won a set of my stitch markers. Yep. And I'm just going to write that on the back so we know who's who. Yep. Yes. Perfecto. So those are done. Yep. And so that's done and that's done. We also have um, stash, which I didn't put on here because for me, for some reason, I thought we got the stash last week. We got it this week. We did get stash last week, but we yes. also got stash this week. Yes. So what we got is... Yeah, my mailman at work loves me because I literally, I will... Squeal. Squeal. I will, because he can see me when I get up from my desk because I have a window. So he sees me get up, I dance to, <laughs> to the door and go, eee! And she takes a picture and messages it to me. Yep. So we got 
for the charity yarn that three Irish girls did for Newtown. Newtown. Um, to send money to them for the families. Um, so I got two skeins of the Kells Sport Merino in the Giving Tree color, which is greens, browns, oranges. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and I Very got good. it in the Adorn Sock Base. Yeah. This is also the Giving Tree colorway. And then this was the other colorway that they did, mm -hmm. uh, which is Love Wins. And the reason I got sport is because I'm on a sock yarn diet. Yet she's planning on making socks with it. Yeah. What? Should I plan on making something else with it? Well, if you're on a sock yarn diet, buying yarn to make socks. Oh. Okay, so I'm not <laughs> making socks with it. I will figure something else out. Well, you can make socks if you want. I'm just saying. It, it mm. kind of counterproductive. It is counterproductive. But they'll be soft and squishy. Oh God. I was thinking of making socks, one for me, one for Sean. Matching socks. Anyhow, that is the stash enhancement of the week. So, oh wait a minute. <laughs> because we're five, twelve, yep. or thirteen. Yep. One of those. Um, Lynn's five. Lynn's five. I'm. You're thirteen. I'm, 13. I'm twelve. Right, because I am the oldest of the group. Yes. But then that doesn't make sense if Lynn's five. She should be 12. No, no. Lynn's She's five. five. Hi, Lynn. Again. We love hope you. Hope you're enjoying Chicago. Hope you get to go to Windy Nitty. Mm. Um, and speaking of Chicago, yeah, because we've gotten a couple of questions about Yes, we will be at Stitches Midwest. Yes. Um, I've already signed up for class. <laughs> I haven't um, signed up for any classes yet, but the hotel's been booked, a.k.a. Rob's house. Hi, Rob. So, hi, Rob. The insanity's coming your yes, way. Yes, you told us we could come back anytime. Time. We'll be back. Um, so for we will full week. Week. Um, so we will be in Chicago for Stitches Midwest. Yep. Um, we are going to try and do a podcaster meetup, uh, but we have yet to have anything confirmed as far as where or when. Well... I think what we'll do is maybe post on the board and... Well, exactly. We'll post on the find board out once we and figure it out. Because there was supposed to be one last year, but we didn't find it. And I'm even more than happy to organize it. Yeah. You know, if it's not already... or Somebody's not already organizing because I would really, really love for it to happen this year. Yeah, so we'll see what goes on there. I mean, there's um, a pajama party in the hotel lobby, but we're not at the hotel, so... We're half an hour away from the hotel. A lot of the podcasters are probably at the hotel. To, to come into town at 10 p.m. and then drive back, not so much fun. So, yeah, so I have to look at the classes because you're taking a class on the Friday. Yes. And is that the only class you're taking? That's the only class I've signed up for so okay. far. So we need to kind of keep in touch this year because last year what we did is in secret. We booked Lynn for two classes and then she booked herself for market sessions. And so she was in class the whole time and we didn't get to do much lately. Yeah. We did get to see Lake Michigan which yes. was really fun. We should post some of those pictures. We should. Oh my god, we had so much fun. We let Rob have the camera and we were just a little silly, let's just say. Yep. Um, and we are, before Stitches, because Stitches is in August, yep. uh, we will be yep. at um, the Maryland, Maryland Sheep and, and Wool Festival, um, which so we'll is be down there. We'll the 4th and the 5th. Yep. We're driving down on the 3rd, so the 4th and the 5th. Hotel's already booked. Yep. Uh, uh, so we'll be there the full day Saturday and possibly, possibly. early on Sunday. Yeah. Um, and we'll keep you posted as far as if there's going to be a podcaster meetup or whatnot. Yeah, there's already talks about it, so hopefully that'll come together. Oh. Which reminds me, I need to order buttons. But yes. I need you to redo the photo. Let's yes. talk about that offline. <laughs> we want to have buttons this year. Yes, we're going to have buttons this year. And one of the other podcasters gave me a link as to where she bought hers, and they were very, they're, they're very, they're, well they're a really good price, and they're well done. So we want to go with that. So that's. So yeah, we'll yeah see we'll people, people at because uh, uh, that's literally a month away. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and a month is going to go by fast. Oh, yeah, it is a month. It's oh, a month my. away. <laughs> like wait a it's minute. It's literally a month. Like oh we'll be less than a month because we'll be leaving on the Friday. Yeah. So, um, so we're... Time has already been booked off. Which reminds me I need to book that off when I get So to my boss, can I have May 3rd off? She's like, May 3rd, is that a long weekend? I'm like, I'm making it into a long weekend. She's like, well, where are you going? Wool and Sheep Festival. She's like, 
That is awesome. I love that. Are you recording there? And yes, we are going to try and record there. I'm going to try and get a new camera that we can take with us. So we shall see. Hopefully we can do it. If not, we're sorry. Yes. Um, we'll record when we get home. Yeah. Something like that. So anyway. Yep, we'll I be think. there. And we'll have buttons. And if you see us, feel free to come up and say hi. Yes, please do. I promise I only bite people I know. And they like it. For the most part, yeah. Just saying. So, yeah. Uh. <laughs> that's, uh, let's just say that's about it for this week. So, happy knitting, happy spinning, Bye. happy crocheting. Bye. Happy long weekend. Oh, happy long weekend. Bye, Lynn.